Hi everyone. So this is another vlog and it's a vlog to update you on yeah things that have been happening and I've not keep been keeping you in touch with. So my last vlog I did I was on the tender so um, it was just kind of really about that. But um, things have been happening, haven't they Jax? Jax has just woken up from his um, nap. Um, so what's been going on? Well, Alex has got a job. Ooh. <laughs> so he started yesterday. Is it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. But he went with not a smile on his face, did he? Actually look like you right now. Grumpy. Because it wasn't a job he wanted to do. And I made him go for it. Why did I make him go for it? Well... He'd been telling me I'd got to go and do all these cleaning jobs and all of this, and I was going to, if it was appropriate, as in looking after the kids. And I do still breastfeed Jax, um, and I am still the main carer for Jax, so I'm so up for getting the job, but it has to be the right job. It has to fit around Alex's jobs, around the kids, around breastfeeding. But he wasn't really taking that into consideration. He was just telling me to go for all these random stupid things. And uh, some of them not even, well, yeah, not that great. But anyway, so I made him ring up on Monday about this job for cleaning boats. <laughs> Posh boats. Very expensive millionaire's boats. Um, basically detailing. So, um, yeah, and the bloke said, oh, okay, yeah, start. Um, he could start yesterday, so we did. He started, didn't he? And we had to go and buy him a new uniform. <sighs> and um, he, he did, bless him. He, did. <laughs> he was very grumpy when he came home. He said it was very, very hard work um, for not a lot of money. So he wasn't best happy. But what it did do is spur him, sp sorry, spur him on to go and speak to the bloke over here at the marina where we're living um, because he'd been saying he was going to do it for ages um, and he wasn't. So it spurred him on to go and speak to him about working for him. And what do you know? Yes, he's taking him on. And so he's going to start working here at the marina on Monday. So he went off to his other detailing job today got up really grumpy and then he went over and spoke to Mike, the bloke who um, runs kind of all the work being done on the boats and the people's yachts and stuff and yeah he's got a job so it's much better so he starts here on Monday um, and it's what time is it? Oh, 7.30 till 4 Monday to Friday so those are better hours for us is it? Hmm? that's better yeah, so it always sucks still that he's working because we just want to be travelling. We've really got the travelling blues now because we've come this far and we're on the yacht and we're on the water. Um, makes it really hard to know that we can't set sail. So, it's good, it's fine, it's all going the right way, isn't it? It's all going the right direction and the year soon goes so fast. So we're already coming up to February which seems mental. So we've just we've just got to get on with it. We've just got to earn some money and get the engine running and then we can go. That's it. Because by the time one well, yeah next year comes round, we will have minimized minimized all our outgoings to basically nothing but food. Mm. What else? Fuel for the diesel um, tank on the boat. But hopefully, we'll be sailing it um, in the main. So hopefully, you know, that's the plan. We'll be sailing so it won't cost us um, loads of money. Oh, I just sort myself out now. Um, yeah, and just sundries and stuff. And... While we're still in Australia, I want to keep the Medi um, Bank, the private Medi, yeah, the private medical insurance. Alex would do with it, but I, I don't want to. Not with kids. I think it's really important. 
so that will still be a payment um can't really think of anything else my phone contract will have finished by next year so that will just be put onto pay as you go so we'll be in a good position you know we'll be in a really good position um we just we need to get a pot of money together so we've got something to start off with and it's fun. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Um, and obviously we need to get the repairs done on the boat. As it is, it really isn't expensive what needs to be done. It's not a lot of money in the grand scheme of things. The main thing is, is getting the engine up and running. It could not, it might not cost a lot. And Alex has been starting to take it apart and look at it and find out what the problem is. So he's already come up with some solutions and some ideas. But he's, I think he's decided to just take the whole lot out and just completely take it apart and rebuild it, basically. But there's no point doing that until we have a pot of money that we... Um, I'm going to see if I can put them down or get comfortable or something. Hang on, bear with me. Let's get comfortable. Oh. So, um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, about the engine. So, um, there's no point taking it apart until we've got the money for Alex to then go out and just buy everything he needs because we'll just have parts of engine all around the boat and, well, we don't have the room for it, do we? So we're just waiting for that now. But I think he feels better because he started, he's had a look around and he ran the engine and kind of knows in his head what he's got to do. So that's good. Um, Why well, he's got engine problems, which is obviously the most important thing. I've got floor problems. I hate it. I hate it so much. And now Alex has started um, his job, or like he started his job on Monday. And I'm going to be on my own with the kids and going back to mother duties and wife duties, etc. Um, that's my homely kind of instinct kicking in now where I want everything looking beautiful and is easy to clean and keep nice. And it's hygienic for the boys to be playing on. And this carpet, it's just... Well, it's not fitted. It's just, it's the cheapest of a cheap marine carpet. And it's just been laid down, so it moves about everywhere. I don't have a hoover. So it's pretty disgusting. I don't like it. So, I've got a list of demands now. As soon as we've got some money coming in, I want the carpet out, and I want the floorboards. That Alex wants anyway, but I want them done. That's a priority. Um, and I want fans. Look, you can see, I'm sorry, like a sheen of sweat on me because it's so windy out there. I wanted to vlog outside and I started. But you can't hear me. It's so breezy and windy and it's gorgeous. But down here, it's coming through the boys' bedroom, which is nice, in the hatch. But it doesn't really come a lot. So the air's not circulating. And when the kids are being high level and you're cooking or you're getting stressed, it's like being in a sauna and we've had 40 degree days so it's pretty rough so I am insisting on fans being put in but he's talking about fans going up in the hatch drop in drop out ones I don't think that looks very nice sorry I need to make myself look a bit more decent don't I um I don't think that looks very nice so I don't know we'll see won't we we'll see but those are my priorities. So, but other than that, it's all good. It's all it's all going really well. It is a bit like glamping. That's what Alex and I said. It's a bit like glamping at the moment. Because the yacht isn't done to our standard. And it's kind of sorted out as we go. It's, yeah, it's quite like camping. A bit better. So, yeah, you're glamping. But it's fun, it's fun, and when we get everything the way we want it, it will be a bit more luxurious and stylish and 
then when we're traveling, wow, well, that's just going to be our dreams come true. Out in the ocean, traveling, seeing beautiful places, beautiful countries, culture in a stylish, beautiful yacht. So it's really exciting. And Alex is forming visions of how he wants it all done and how he wants it to look. So all the cushions out on the deck. You know, I think he's going for cream. I think he wants cream cushions all up on the deck um, at the back so it can be like a lazing round kind of chilled out vibe. I want a hammock up there. Alex has done all the safety um, netting for the kids, so that's brilliant. That's brought some peace of mind. Um, yeah, I think we were going to originally go for dark blue um, Dodger, which is like the screen, almost like the windscreen of the yacht, if that makes sense. Um, so dark blue material and dark blue material for the seating indoors and outdoors. We've decided we're not going to change this crappy, crappy one in here until just before we set sail because the boys, well Jack's in the main, trying to feed him his yoghurt in the morning and it just goes everywhere, <laughs> just goes everywhere. So we thought if we keep that, this, I mean it looks like an 80s pub doesn't it, 80s, 90s pub in England, back in England. Um, but it, it doesn't matter if it gets trashed. So we'll leave it until the next year. And then Jax will be two. <gasps> Can't believe he's turned one already. That's crazy. So when we set sail, hopefully next year, if we yeah set sail beginning of next year, he'll have just turned two. And Bo will be four, because he's just about to turn three in March. So we'll have a four-year-old and a two-year-old, which actually works out really well for setting sail and traveling. That Those ages will be brilliant, because it's a little bit hard now with Jax. It was fine when we moved in, and then all of a sudden, just as he turned one, and now we can climb the steps in and out of the hatch to get out within seconds. We used to put them down in the wheel, oh, you can't see, but back out there where like the wheelhouse is, we used to put them down there on the floor, couldn't get up the seats, well now we can. So like, yeah, I turned one mum, so <laughs> I'm out of here. And he is, oh he's so fast. So yeah, this, this, this year is gonna be hard, hard with, you know, we're not doing it together again, are we? Alex is working and I'm doing the mummy bit and the wifely bit. Um, but it will be better in the sense that Alex is now not working 70 hours a week. So that's good. Already, I can't believe he's due home any minute. So that will be wicked. That does make it easier, doesn't it? Nicer. But, um, yeah, by the time we set sail next year, um, the boys will be at a really good age. So, yeah, and then we can get all new cushions. And I think we want leather in here. It took us ages in our house to suddenly, to get rid of all the material, get beautiful leather sofas, wood flooring, leather in the cars, and we said we're never going to go back to material again. So I think we're going to get leather sofas. And I think that's what I was saying before I went off topic. Alex wants grey, like a grey boom bag for the sails, and a grey dodger and grey cushions. So. I think it's a bit more modern than the navy blue that is quite traditional and why I liked it, like it's you know white and blue isn't it, the sailing and stuff. But I think maybe he has a point, so we'll see. Um, yeah, the other thing is, so now we're in a berth, we're at the original marina we brought and came to see Solitude in. So, um, and we were going to go to Cameron's, like I was telling you. But we spoke to a lad, we've made a friend called Nathan here and he's really nice and he stayed there and yeah, he just confirmed for us it's really not a great place for the boys. It wasn't safe. So we're paying a lot more money here and we can't afford it. <laughs> we've got no money, but we're doing it because it's better for the boys and it's better for me. So, well, better for me in the sense of looking after the boys by myself. So that's fine. So we're here and it's good and it's really accessible. It's very posh. It's such a posh marina. It's very lovely and it's a floating pontoon which the other one didn't have. So it goes up and down with your boat. 
So when you get off your boat and on your boat, it's at your level. So that makes it so much easier. That's really good. Um, and it's working, but we're just itching to travel. We're just itching to get out of here. So anyway, the plan is to fix this motor. As soon as we've got some money coming in now, we'll let it build up a bit. Hopefully Alex can fix the um, engine. And um, we've been got to get a few lessons in of sailing and learn some stuff. Alex has been reading up and he's already learned so much. He's so clever. He's learned so much already. But obviously we need to get doing it. So, But once we're in a good place, I'm really hoping by the middle of the year we can sail to the Sunshine Coast, which is where we want to be. Because we're struggling here. There's no beach around us like we're in Sydney so yes there's loads of water but in order to go to a beach you've got to drive you know and go to Manly or fresh water or something um, and we're used to having a beach at the end of our road and being on the beach every evening so on weekend so we're really missing that the Sunshine Coast, Google it, it's just beautiful. That was our favourite place when we travelled in the Pajero together before we had kids. Um, so yeah, it'd be great if we could spend the rest of the year in the Sunshine Coast. A lot more beachy vibe, chilled out, a bit more... Mm, not hippie, but just more beachy vibed. Not, not city, we're not city people. So it's cool to come and see and do and stuff but yeah we'll see how we go um <laughs> gorgeous isn't he what well, all babies are so um and the other one's sleeping bobo he's tucked up in his bed with the breeze going around him that's nice so um i had mentioned on the tender vlog that um Oh, he's back. I've just been telling everyone on the vlog about your job. <laughs> there's, there's Jax. Here, let me finish my vlog. You go and have a cuddle with Daddy. Yay, told you it was good having him finish at four o'clock. Oh, yeah, mate. There we go. I'll come and finish this. Boys, give me five minutes. So, um, yeah, so what? I come in my bedroom now. So, um, why I said on my tender about um, being in the reflective mode and contemplating things a lot was because, well, we've had some bad news at home. So in my family, there's been some really bad news. Um, and also, along with the bad news, which I won't elaborate on right now because it's not for me to do, um, my nan is very, very poorly, and she's really poorly, and it's really upsetting. Um, yeah, I don't know. She's not. She's not in a great way. So um, I had a couple of bad weeks um, of not really knowing what to do, and also having your family go through things that are really upsetting and scary or the fear of losing like I don't know how long we've got my nan for and being so far away and not being able to do anything I'm so used to before I came to Australia being the one to help whether it be emotionally or getting a car and drive and just drop everything and make sure that um, I could be there be there for whoever needed it and um, it's really hard it's really hard it's the hardest thing yeah being the other side of the world from your family when they need you or even if they wouldn't say that they need you if they're going for a hard time um, yeah so it's pretty tough really um, I did speak to my mum about going back to the UK and I would drop what we're doing. Like we haven't got any money, so we'd have to find a way somehow of paying for flights. And, and I don't know how I would get to England with the two boys. I really don't know how I would do that. But we would find a way. Alex and I would find a way to get me there and be with my family if and when's needed. So 
So yeah, it's, it was, it's been pretty tough. But I say tough for me, it's tougher for the people back home who are having to deal with it all face to face, I guess. But then that brings guilt with me that I'm not helping them do that, so I don't know. But what I will do is drop everything here and go there when they want me to, as soon as they want me to. So that's that. But the way it's got me thinking, again, it really put me in that mind process of thinking, life is so short. Life is so, so short and precious. So it's just reinforce the fact what me and Alex are doing. It's been hard, it's scary. People say, oh, you're so lucky. We're not lucky. We're not lucky, this didn't land on our laps. We were brave and gave up everything we had. And the comfort, the security, money. We don't have any money now, we don't have savings. So we didn't have a house that we own to rent and have security and money coming in or uh, sell a house and have a stash load of money in the bank account for security and to start us off didn't have that um, so we're not lucky we're making this happen for us we're being brave and we're going out there and we're dealing with the crap bits because there are crap bits and hard bits um, and we're just doing it we're making it happen so basically um, I'll cut it shorter than what I wanted to because I can see I've already talked for 20 minutes my message is to you guys it doesn't matter you don't have to dream as big as it is about selling everything and giving everything up and buying a yacht and traveling the world. You don't have to dream on the scale of that. That was our personal dream, so we've made it happen. I don't care how... If you think your dream's not very important or it's too little or it's too big to do, it isn't. If it's important to you, it's important. Don't procrastinate, don't dwell on it, don't don't make excuses for yourself. Don't think, oh, they're lucky because they can do it, they're in this situation. We're not. <laughs> We're in the same situation everyone else has. In fact, we didn't have family to help us do this. We've had to do it ourselves. And I'm not trying to stroke our egos here. I'm just trying to make a point to you lot. If there's something that you desire, go and get it before it's too late, okay? If you can't swim and you've always wanted to learn how to swim, go and get those lessons booked. Go and learn. Don't be afraid. In fact, fear is good. Fear is great. Go and face it. Go and prove to yourself that you know you're stronger than what you think you are. If it's learning to drive, if it's learning to cook, if it's buying a Harley, find a way. Make it happen. I don't, whatever it is, if it's going to a certain country and seeing it, if it's changing your job and becoming a florist or a dancer, just give it a go. If it goes wrong, hey, just do something else. Think of another dream. At least you tried. Just try. Please, please, please. Life is so precious and so short. Do something that makes you happy. Do something that really, really gets your fire going and makes you passionate. Do it. Do it, okay? Even if it's sing a song and karaoke in front of everyone and you've been too scared but you've longed to show everyone how amazing you are, do it. Go on. I believe in you. Believe in yourself. Make it happen. And then message me and let me know. Let me know how it went. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to go and look after my man, being as he's had a hard day of work and we don't want a grumpy man. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go off for family time now. Hopefully, maybe... Um, Bo will get to do some fishing again this evening because that's what he loves to do with his dad at the moment in the evening. All right, guys, I love you as always. <coughs> Miss you, and um, I'll vlog again soon. Take care. Signing out, seeking solitude. Go do something that makes you happy.